hot breath. Another thing that I admire about you is your mindfulness around learning and being a part of other worlds besides just comedy. We can we can get single-minded as comedians and be like, it's all comedy all the time, but you're very intentional mm -hmm. about learning from different worlds and being in different worlds. And I recently mm -hmm. heard you say in an interview that you've learned more about the business from like rap and wrestling than you have from anything within comedy. And I'd be interested to know what are some of the business things you've learned from rap and wrestling that you apply to your comedy? Oh, that, thank you for asking that. Um, I think in, in comedy, we, we, a lot of us get this mindset of like, oh, we're, we're pure artists. We just want to do stand up. Like so many of my friends I'd even talk to and they'd be like, why do you want to do voice acting? Why do you want to do like, like stand up is the purity. And as I think if anyone sees right now, diversifying your portfolio is a fucking <laughs> god. Because there's no stage for you to hit right now. But however, I'm still getting checks from trolls. Mm. So... <laughs> <laughs> But I don't want that either here nor there. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the business I learned from from rap and from from um, wrestling was self promotion mm -hmm. about making yourself seem like a big deal. That if if you made yourself seem like a big deal, no one's going to believe you are a big deal until you do. And so. A lot of my, like, I would post about my shows. I would post about what's going on. Even if they were half full, I would just take pictures. I would post about them because I was like, you want to be a part of this. The, people, the half full room that was here, they loved it. You should be here. They are the cool people. And then a lot of it was, like, selling T-shirts and selling posters. Like, when I started doing that, a lot of it was kind of looked down upon that it was corny, that it was hacky, that it was that's what road comics do. Mm -hmm. But I knew every time I went to a wrestling show, every time I went to a rap show, I wanted to leave with that artist's T-shirt because I wanted to support them because I wanted to. I thought it was cool if I came back with a currency shirt or a Devin the Dude shirt or whatever. Like, and I thought it was weird that comics didn't seem look at it like that. And so I wanted, I got into merch more, I got into self promotion more, and I got into making like little commercials for my for my runs for my um, tour. Like, I said, they were doing that a couple years ago, and a lot of my comedian peers were making fun of me. Like, hey, why are you doing that? It's, you know, you're wasting your time. They're stupid. They're low budget. They look weird. But I like, I love low budget commercials. It is a lo it's a local commercial for like, hey, I'm coming to your town. And then I shit you not, like a year later, clubs were requiring that I send them a video. Mm -hmm. And then my, and then I started seeing, oh, my peers are making commercials now. Like, and I was like, oh, you were, you were the one making fun of me. <laughs> and so I was like, you know, uh, when it comes to business, I don't like to be a follower. I like to, to be a leader. I like to think about what we could do different, what we can do better. Um, that's one thing I'm doing right now. I'm partnering with this company, um, ProWrestlingTees.com, and they've been a big help in the pro wrestling community with helping independent contractors, independent wrestlers sell their own merch online. They provide the t-shirts, they provide like the shipping, they provide everything. You just provide the art and you set the price point. And it's been such a godsend for the wrestling community. I was like, why don't we have this for comedians? We're, we probably sell more shirts than wrestlers. And so now we're starting that. We got a small group of people, me, Adam Ray, Brad Williams, Billy Wayne Davis, Jackie Fabulous, Beth Stellan. And we're, we're starting like a comedy wrestling tease with, with the pro wrestling tease guy. So uh, because I think it can work for comedians of all levels because they don't. When I started selling merch, like they they would make you buy a bulk order of T-shirts. I remember I was selling with some small company and I sold like 300 shirts and they sent me a bill. And I was like, what's going on? You know, so um, luckily I start because of my love of pro wrestling. I was able to talk to this other company that was like, hey, that's fucking ridiculous. Like you'll never you come hang out with us. You'll never get a bill for selling a shirt. Like you might, you know, only get five, ten dollars if you sell one shirt that month, but you'll never get a bill. And so I've been working with them and building that relationship ever since. Hot breath.